Browser Sync makes it easy to do cross-device testing of your website. It's automatically enabled in CodeKit and requires no configuration. Here, I've added CodeKit's actual website as a project to the app, and you can see I'm previewing the purchase page in both Chrome and Safari. I might also have it pulled up on an iPad or an Android sitting on my desk, but I can't show those in the screencast. Now, the goal is to test this form on all the different browsers I plan to support so that I can make sure it works correctly. But I don't want to have to type text into fields on four different devices. That's tedious. So all I'm going to do is select one of them and start typing. I'll put my name here, and you can see that even though I'm typing into Safari, CodeKit has synced it over to Chrome as well and it would show up on my iPhone or Android on my desk. If I went to my iPhone and started typing there, those changes would be synced back to my desktop browsers. But it's not just text. For example, I know that if I leave my email address blank and I try to submit this form, there should be an error style that shows up in both places. So I'll come over to Chrome, scroll down to the bottom of the form, and click Place This Order. As soon as I do, CodeKit syncs the event to all preview devices. So I can see that even though I didn't click in Safari, Safari still got that event and correctly applied my error styles. This looks good. The form's working everywhere. I can also navigate around my site and CodeKit will keep things in sync. For example, I'm done with the purchase page. Let's go to About. If I come over here to Safari and click About, I'll see that Chrome goes to that page as well, as do my iPhone and Android on my desk. Browser sync requires a fast, stable network. If you're on something like public Wi-Fi, it may not work very well. It may even start to get in your way. In that case, you can disable it by unchecking this box in CodeKit's Preferences window under the Browser's category. Alternately, you can fine-tune which events the app syncs. For example, I can disable clicks simply by unchecking it here. Finally, you should be aware of some modern browser quirks that can influence browser sync. For example, in Safari, if you have multiple tabs that are all viewing CodeKit's preview address, the background tabs may have JavaScript execution disabled automatically by macOS to save power. In that case, those background tabs will never get the browser sync events that CodeKit sends, so they'll get out of sync. Sometimes, especially on battery power, macOS will even shut down rendering if the browser window is not on screen, like if it's minimized in your dock. In that case, those browsers may get out of sync as well. The rule of thumb is, to keep things in sync, the browser window needs to be open and visible on your screen.